Hello folks, Now Creek Fly Shop again. We're going to tie today some variations of what we call the coho bugger, also known as the California Neal. Uh, in this case, we're going to do a blue one. Uh, we're going to try something different that I haven't done before using the nano thread instead of wire around the hackle. So we'll do this and here we go. As you can see, I've already got my bead on the hook. It's a 9394. Number four, must add 9394. And I'm using Simplify's Nano Thread. I like it. It's very strong, very small. So if there's any knock against it, it's, it's the diameter. But pretty amazing stuff. We've had that in the store for many, many years. We were the first store in Canada actually to use it. Uh, but that's all good. Everybody else is using it now. And my tail is going to be a blue colored stordite polar bear. And I will incorporate a little tiny bit of flash, not much, just a very sparse tail. We don't want much. And I'm going to let my polar bear become part of the body build because of the nano thread that's very, very thin. I want to make sure that I have enough body uh, on the shank of the hook. There we are. And we're going to be using for hackle, it's going to be a store dyed blue. And I'll light light in from the tip again I'm building up my body building up my body I want my body to be nice size I have to watch that nano thread on hackles it can cut through the vein so be very careful now I'm going to tie in our store only available coho blue chenille and I'll do a couple of wraps with this. I want to keep my thread to the back. There we go. Come to the back. Uh, now I'm getting a nice body build. And I'll lock that in. As you can see, this fly can be very quick. And it is a very good fly for coho, pink salmon, all of those colors. You can use pink, you can use red, you can use chartreuse. You can use all those colors. Now I'll start my hackle forward. There we are. Oh yeah, that's fine. Some people will strip one side of the hackle feather. You can do that. That's fine, no problem. One of the problems with the hackles is that a lot of these fish have teeth. And those teeth, let me get my hackle plier here, I'll hold that down. Those teeth will actually bite through the vein of the hackle. So we are going to use the nano thread instead of wire. You can use wire, that's good. There we are. Work your way through. Work your way through. Oh yeah, there we are. That's oh, not bad. I'm actually quite impressed. I've been thinking about this for some time. There we are. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. A nano thread secured blue coho bugger nile creek blue pretty cool a little bit of uh super glue on the thread i'm using the gulf super glue brushable very very nice best i've ever used there we are that won't come apart 
and a little wood finish and we've got a really well built ready to fish coho bugger thank you for watching